So here in the Union Cemetery in, in downtown Kansas City, I'm here at the burial site of James Hunter. And James Hunter actually had a farm not too far from here uh, where Linwood is, uh, off of Linwood. And he actually gave 47 acres of his land uh, to, to help build part of what is now the Union Cemetery. And uh, this next person is a very prominent person in Kansas City history. And this is his family plot. This is uh, uh, where the pink roses are here. This is Charles Carney II. Uh, this is the Carney uh, family plot. Very significant, and I'll give that to you in a minute. Uh, he was a very prominent businessman. He was, help he was responsible for building a bridge across the Missouri River, connecting what is today uh, Kansas City and what is North Kansas City, the Kearney Bridge. And a very wealthy man. And then, this is so interesting. Um, uh, in his family plot, and uh, she has uh, purple uh, flowers here, this is Hattie uh, Dresmond Carney. Now, she was an African-American woman, uh, and at the age of 11 years old, down at the levee, uh, she was put on the auction block to be sold into slavery. And uh, she was very afraid of this one guy who wanted her really badly, and so she saw Charles Carney and begged him uh, to buy her. And so he outbid everybody and bought Hattie. And then as soon as he bought her, he, uh, he gave her her freedom. Well, she's 11 years old, I mean, what are you gonna do? And uh, so he gave her a job uh, as uh, kind of the nanny, housemaker, nurse uh, worked for. And she actually worked for this family for 80 years and helped uh, raise uh, three generations of the Carney children. And um, they thought so much of her that she is here in the family plot. Uh, and I think I read somewhere that she might be the only African-American woman that's buried here at the Union uh, Cemetery. So this is really, uh, really an interesting uh, uh, part of the cemetery that I wanted to share with you. So uh, here at the Union Cemetery in downtown Kansas City.